Welcome back to Let's Play Cyberpunk 2077 with me, Jerupidus. And we are definitely going to meet up with Takamura today, but first we've got a couple of character points. I think I'm just going to throw one more in body just to get a little bit more health. And then on the intelligence tree, I was looking at this uh, right here. Eliminating a target affected by a quick hack instantly recovers one RAM unit. So basically, if you're... Quick hack is lethal, it costs one less, and it's only one point, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and throw that in there. That seems kind of sweet to me. And we'll try and use quick hacking more in actual combat. But let's see what we've got here on our way back to Takimura. Two assaults in progress, let's go handle those. All right, where is my car? Here we go. I love that it almost does a flip, like it's happy to see you or something. <laughs> and yeah, while talking about uh, using quick hacks during actual combat, why don't we go ahead and see if we can't quick hack this entire thing and kill everyone? I think that'll be cool to try out. Let's go detonate grenade and see what happens. Cool. But I didn't really do that much. Now they're just looking for me. So let's hit him with a contagion. Well, I guess they're not all grouped together anymore, so why don't we just short circuit him? Yeah, that did that still didn't do the job. Let's try again. But now they know where I'm at. Our uh, quick hacking is still not quite there yet. Let's try and do a katana kill on this one. Got some stamina back. Jeez. Can't even really approach this one effectively. Let's just get in there. Alright, I think that's everybody. Wow, what is this thing? Alright, let's check out the conversation. Uh, Robert Conrad, yeah, I'm here. Dominic, grab a crew, ride out to the Badlands, send you the cords in a sec. Robert, what happened? Dominic, Raffins, jump to transport in Kendachi. You gotta get those implants back or we are fucked. All right, I'm on it, man. Well, I hope these were the Raffins because... I would feel a little bad about killing people who were, uh... Like, trying to get at the Raffins. I don't even know what this thing is. And I don't know why once in a while it just decides to equip things. Yeah, like I have my regular guns on. But once in a while when you pick something up it just decides to equip it. Alright, well let's see what uh, dropped around here.
And one more. Don't equip it. Come on. Why? <laughs> Maybe it's just, like, specifically that gun that does it. I seem to remember in the very first uh, mission, when I picked up the gun in that area, it automatically equipped it as well, and it was, like, the same gun. But anyway, there is another assault in progress, like, right by here, so let's just go do that one, too. Yep, it's literally, like, across the street. This is a crime-infested area. So what do we got going on here? I swear a couple of those were on the dot. All right. Didn't like that guy approaching me at all. There's one more a little further. Okay. I really want to pick that up. That's like a... Oh, it looked like a katana, but it is not. Oh, let's give that a read. We encountered an isolated woman during a routine patrol. The woman seemed to pose a threat. When we requested her documents, the woman made short, quick movement with her hand. I was forced to react quickly in defense of both myself and my fellow officer. I fired one shot at the woman. The woman was fatally wounded. She was found to be armed and my decision to shoot justified. Yeah, I've heard that before. I don't want to get uh, too political on this. I want to stick to the game. But, like, seriously? Does anyone ever believe that? Alright, time to disassemble. Electric Baton Alpha. That does have... 548. But the crowbar is still better. That crowbar, I'm telling you, may be the best weapon in the game. <laughs> it's definitely the most damaging weapon we've encountered thus far. All right, let's disassemble all of our commons. Did think I saw a sniper rifle. 226. Yeah, it's worse. Okay. Do we have any other commons on us? We do. Everything else I think I'll sell, but uncommons are so... Or, I mean, commons are so uh, worthless that I think I'd rather just disassemble them. And let's go ahead and secure this evidence. Uh, let's read this. Martha Lou, well... Karubo's in Night City. Dakota. Padre says he is. In one state or another, whatever that means. You want details, you have to pay. Uh, I'll find it myself. Dakota, you shouldn't come back. Someone will recognize you, and that's it. Martha, I'll be fine, and I won't let that bastard get away. Karubo's gotta die for what he did to me and my family. Dakota, drop it. It's not worth it. Uh, Martha, you don't know what you're talking about. Dakota, you might be surprised. Yeah, you probably should have listened to her. But I'll take your money, since you're dead and you won't be needing it. All right, anything else I can loot here? All right, that looks to be about it. So let's see where we're headed next. Yeah, we can head straight for uh, Takamura and pick up a couple of these jobs here on the way.
Yep, and here comes my car. I don't know if it will be able to get to me. Uh, there it is over there. And man, I am I am trying to get to Takemura, but there's so much to do along the way. And some of these have been pretty sweet, so... I don't mind doing them, but, like... It's funny, I spend so much time between some of the main story missions that I forget how good they are. Like, once you get started on them, uh, it's very, very engrossing. Like, the story with Hellman, even, was awesome. And it had a couple of twists and turns, like the Aldecados getting super uh, destroyed by us downing that uh, dropship, or whatever you'd like to call it. I think it's called an AV. And so I was just mesmerized when I was doing that. And so I do definitely really want to get back to those. But it's just a matter of, like, I see it undiscovered, and I've, like, got to do that, right? Yep, I killed that person. I did not mean to. Sorry about that. This thing's just kind of really hard to take corners with. Hopefully by the time I get there... Yeah, we're not going to do another Assault in Progress. We're just going to get to... Uh... Okay, so I think these... And eh, reported crimes, I don't really care. We'll just keep going. Oof. There I go over the handlebars, as usual. Guy doesn't even bother to ask me if I'm okay. But don't you worry. I regenerate health outside of combat extremely rapidly, so I am just fine. <laughs> Yep, just how we drew it up. Perfect cornering there. Okay, so here we are. And now I remember there being a couple of things right around here. But since we're already here, we might as well just do it. Let's get to it. All right, there he is. What's up, Takamura? Come. I have found a good place to observe. I'm excited. This, um... We must just climb up here. This mission where I've got to defend him from snipers and he's going to drop into the parade sounds really exciting. Now, this way. I mean, there's a guy up there, but I don't think he's going to spot us. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. I mean, Takamura, there was a guy, like, right over there. <laughs> Let's go up to the roof. I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much. Hmm, perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attention. I'm sure I can think of something. Alright, nothing much up here. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Uh, mind running out, getting a pizza? Oh, can you run and grab us a pizza? Take out the food? No. <laughs> just no. 
If I had time and ingredients, I would prepare some onigiri with cod or with grilled salmon. He just doesn't get jokes, man. <laughs> no, even better. With umeboshi plants. Mmm, Arasaka-sama's favorite appetizer. Simple, tasty, and filling. I found him chewing once, fried on his face. It was a protein bar. So brew Arasaka with a protein bar? Get out of here. Like a true soldier. Okay, enough. Well, we'll both grow hungry. I was just gonna say, you're kind of making me hungry. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. All right, so we gotta scan this area. What do we got? Footbridge. Footbridge, but it's guarded. Gates guarded. Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. What else can I see? What is this? Is that a service tunnel? That sounds promising. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. Security hub's got to be in that building. Antenna. Security hub is liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. This is not bad. All right, and what else can I see? Comm system. Got eyes on the comm system. It's a lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. All right, so we have a couple of options now. Is there anything else I can scan? The pipes? Pipes. See them? We could use them to get inside. And I think that's everything. I just wanted to check off every single thing. Ooh, the transformer. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. All right. Uh, there's still more. Side entrance is blocked. Armored door. Sealed tight. Yeah, this place is heavily armed, so we are definitely going to have to stealth this, and I have a, a bad feeling about that. Because I am not good at it, and I feel like <laughs> if if your uh, NPC friends could die, I would get them all killed. All right, I think we're done. I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kampiki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in then. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. Kitty! That cat. Hmm. I thought they all disappeared from the city. Fine looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City. Except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a bacaneco. What's a bacaneco? Back in Echo. What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune. Can restore the dead back to life. Hmm. I'm someone who is pretty much dead who needs to be uh, brought back to life. You believe in ghosts? Believe in ghosts? The relic let you talk to the dead, does it not? I believe we are past belief. That is true. I mean, I guess Johnny is... My grandmother knew many, many stories about 
キツネカッパバケネコトゥ I was gonna say Johnny is uh could be definitely considered a ghost. So where did you grow up? Where'd you grow up anyway? I am from the slums of Chiba Eleven. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I Ah bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. Uh, let's use our street kid dialogue. Remember when I was a kid? Childhood memories. Let's see. Hopping buildings, running away from badges, iron taste of blood from a split lip. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Military transporters for a slum? Transporters, you say? Armored and armed. Chiba 11 had the most murders in all Japan. It probably still has. Um, did they recruit you for military service? Let me guess. So they could turn them into Corbo soldiers? Exactly. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. That's a really interesting backstory for him. So how'd you come to be Saburo's bodyguard? So how's a corpo rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburu Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy, service in the special forces, and Arasaka-sama's unmatched eye for talent. You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge, that is how you become the world's most powerful man. 100 candidates standing at attention. And Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. Boy, one out of a hundred? I mean, he does seem really smart, so it, it makes uh, some amount of sense. So all you had to do was kill Arasaka's enemies. All you had to do in return was kill Saburo's enemies. I sense that you judge me. And yet, you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend, Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. So you're saying you got no dirt on your hands? Saying you got no dirt on your hands? There are no clean hands, but it is important how they become dirty. So Spill, how'd you sully yours? Arasaka gave me what no one else could. Values I could honor, live for. This was most important. You dirty your hands for money. I, in the name of principles. I mean, I kind of don't buy that, but uh, anyway, I'm not judging you. Wasn't judging you. And true, you oppose the corporations, their order their world in a mindless way, yet you offer no worthy alternative. Take a look around. It's here, your corporate world in its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists, as if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability, safety? Cheap 11 slum rats? They're there, scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that, too. We cannot fix everything at once. Yeah, so he's still kind of drinking the corporate Kool-Aid, but I do think he's right where, like, sure, let's smash the state, but then what, you know? All right, so peeps on the streets hate the corpse. You already forget what happened at Tom's diner? 
People hate corpse more than anything. Can't blame them either. Got some regrets, but clapping from Arasaka ain't one of them. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad, to leave this world, forget everything. You know, it's never too late. Never too late to change. What is your expression? One cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompik, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. That's an astute observation. Finally starting to make some sense. Finally starting to make some sense. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. The Bakaneko got sick of us, <laughs> it looks like. It will find its own way. The way he rolled off there was pretty As funny. Real way. I think it is time to do something, hmm? I'm getting worse. Oh, fuck, get worse. You do not look so bad. I like that we, uh, like, have these attacks, and then we just get up and we're like, ah, we'll be okay. But that was fun to uh, sit and talk with Takamura. I find him to be a really interesting character, and learning some more backstory about him was, uh, you know, awesome for me. And I was going to say before we had our conversation, I think it'd be really interesting to see what, like, the nation of Japan looks like in this world. Because they're already, like, kind of futuristic. At least that was the impression that I got when I was there. And so I can't even imagine how futuristic it must be in this world. But according to Takemura, it's every bit as bad there as it is here. It's probably pretty bad everywhere, given how much control corporations have been given over world affairs. And just how bad the everyday person's life has become in this futuristic hellscape, you know? I guess I'll walk behind him. But a lot of people were complaining that there's no button to, like, toggle walk so you can match the speed. Like, the game will scripted-wise do it for I'll you sometimes. Touch. The diversion reaction, that is mine to do. But it doesn't always make you walk behind people. Like, sometimes you're like this, and so if there were just a button to toggle that on, um, that would be really nice. Okay, I don't know if I want to continue this storyline right now. So it's giving me a bunch of options. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. We're just about out of time. So instead, I'm going to grab this Agent Saboteur, and then we'll come back to actually tackle this. Because I feel like this is probably going to take a whole episode by itself, pretty much. I was like, I don't recognize this car at all. And that person in the car was like, I don't recognize you either. <laughs> but don't you worry, Takamura, I will be right back. I just gotta do some uh, quick sabotage. And then we'll break into this industrial park. And I will probably get caught immediately and die unspectacularly. Oh good, I didn't kill those people. Okay, what do we got here? It's El Capitan. Yo, V. Been living good? If you ain't busy, I got a gig for you. Real classic. All you gotta do is break into a corpo zone and plan a bug. Info's attached. 
All right, let's give this a read. Uh, you ever watch the news? Personally, I think it's all propaganda, but that's just me. Still, people watch, and some people make the news. My client's Ted Fox, an N54 reporter. He's doing a story on the link between gangs and corpse. On paper, they're enemies, but in reality, it seems like the corporal rats and gangoons are scratching each other's backs. Keyword seems, Ted needs hard evidence. I mean, that is absolutely true. We learned that already. That's where you come in to save the day. Ted will tell you exactly what you have to do, but be ready to get onto Kendachi Factory Grounds, poke around. All clear? Head on over to Ted. As they say in the media biz, it's showtime. Okay, let's meet up with him. V. One and only. You Ted. All right, let's get in. Um, but first, I'm going to restart the game. I like something weird is still happening with the audio. So give me just one second here. Some parts of Okay, we're back. Teddy, what's the sitch? See that garage on the left? Belongs to Kendachi. Tip come in, they've got some special goods sitting in there. Special? For the 6th Street gang. Uh, okay, so what do I have to do? So, what's on me to do? You get in the garage and place this tracker under the truck. Just, just watch out for surveillance cams. Piece of cake. You are making my career right here, V. The soldier of truth. Uh, do you know their security? You know your way around their security? Oh, I like you. You want deets? Teddy's got deets. Here's the deal. Two cams, five guards, and another three in the back. Oof. Looking a little green at the gills, but hey, I get it. It won't be easy. Just do what you can to keep that mug off camera. Got it? Sure. See what I can do. I hate to break it to you, but I am probably not about to make your career. <laughs> but let's do it. All right, Teddy. Time to get to work. Just, you know, do your ninja stuff. And don't get caught on camera. Cameras love me, not you. I'll be in touch. Here's the thing, though. Cameras love me, too. They love spotting me. Okay. So let's see if there's not... A sideway in of some kind. Do you know All right, that one's down. Make sure your implant is always the latest model. Couple of guys here. Let's tag them. And let's go all the way around the back. Okay, I see another camera over there. So let's take control of this one. So there's a couple of guys here. I have them both tagged already. But there are only two cameras. So if I can get rid of both of these, that should help tremendously. All right, now let's run around the back here. Whole thing's barbed wire, so I can't climb over that. Are you friendly? You are. Heads killing me. Got all these red bumps sprouting up too. See if I can't get up there this way. Look, I know they toss good shit, but it ain't worth it. I mean, maybe we can save up some new bone marrow. All right, and it looks like I might be able to get in through there, but let's go ahead and grab this quick. Okay, so that's where I got to go. There is this guy here. Is there a way to take them out? Doesn't look that way. But maybe okay. I can sneak into that room with them. Everyone's fault but yours. Fuck you. 
I don't know what just saw me. But let's try. That's locked. Okay. Uh, and there are a few over here. Will that work all the way across the street? I have my doubts. Yep, no, it will not. Boy, I sure wish I could get through this door. And there's no way for me, I don't think, to get into this room quietly. Uh, what am I gonna do? Looks like there's a way in, like, over here. But that may or may not be true. I just don't know how I'm gonna dispose of this person. I wonder if it's possible to just, like, drop and grab them instantly. The problem with that is that, um... They're just gonna turn around instantly and detect me. There's got to be a way to get in this room. What? What? Calm down! Where are you? Are you, are you fucking crazy? I, I can't help you! Well, then you're fucked! Am I really undetected right here? Maybe I can take this guy out? That would be helpful. Okay. I kind of can't believe this worked. That person is facing away, so let's get him. All right, now we just got to get out of here. Um, okay. So how do I want to escape? Probably not that way. I would like to have succeeded at this, so let's just get out of here. Let's go this way. Because, yeah, the way I came is not going to work. How am I going to get out of here? Oh, I want to succeed so bad. Okay, okay. I think I have an idea. Maybe I can take this person out? Uh-oh. I think they're a little alerted. That is not good. Alright, is there anything this way that I can distract them? Oh my god, did that work? Did 
Did it work? Pre-mark. Ted's gonna shit so hard on those Kentachi fucks. They won't know what hit him. Anyways, respect for running the tip-top up. Closing the contract and releasing your eddies. I feel like I got crazy lucky on that. They're never going to know I was there except for that half of them are dead. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I feel like if the body had gotten identified, I would have failed the stealth portion of that. And that happened like a few seconds after we got out of there. All right, well, I think that's going to be all the time I've got for today. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.